Late on the first day, man. Oh, God. Okay, class, take a seat. All right, class, uh, take out your uh, summer reading that you hopefully did. Now, uh, today we'll be going over omens, signs, dreams, and uh, we're going to start with unspoken language. So, uh, Jared, could you please read this? This chart for me. Do I have to, Mr. Jared? Oh, uh, do you want those extra credit points? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... Alright, Jared, uh, let's start with, uh, responsive. Uh, active acceptance, ready to agree, engaged, eager. Alright, now let's move to, uh, reflective. Receptivity? Listening, attentive, evaluating. Now combative. Resistance, let me speak, anger, aggressive, lying. And the final one. Withdrawal, defensive, boredom, rejection, let me go. Good job. Your class, now let's go over um, unspoken language, uh, the six, the seven elements, sorry. Uh, Jared, could you give me an example for uh, personal appearance? Uh, would that be when, if you're a hobo, and you're wearing raggedy clothes, everybody's going to think you're a hobo and not, you're not successful. Good job. That's a one gold star. All right. Now, what about, yeah. the, what about posture? Um, like, depending on how you walk or stand up, if you stand up more straight and look more tall, maybe people think you're more confident. True. Like, if you're slouching in my class... Uh, probably won't give you an A. Uh, Alright, Jared, uh, now for our third one. Uh, what about gestures? Do you know anything about those? Uh -huh. No gold star for you. Alright, uh, so gestures are usually uh, body motions or uh, signals with our hands that are intentional and uh, usually have a meaning, like uh, thumbs up in America. Usually means good. Uh, peace. Or, uh, but uh, in other countries, peace. Uh, two fingers up uh, doesn't really mean anything good. It's kind of an offensive terminology gesture. Mm. Alright, now for one of the uh, the biggest uh, all-time elements would have to be facial expressions. Uh, your overall mood or emotions shown on our face. Uh, usually you can easily tell this from a distance even. Smiling, well, probably having a good day. Sad, little frown, not such a good day. Uh, Alright, Jared, uh, could you name uh, our next element on our list? Uh, would it be space and distancing? That's correct, that's another gold star. Alright, uh, for an example for this class, uh, we could take a couch for example, if uh, someone has their legs spread out, they're probably more confident. Uh, if they have their legs closed and not taking up much space, probably a little more uh, on the non-confident side, maybe a little more on the uh, insecure. Alright Jared, uh, could you name out the last and final element for us? Modulation of voice? Uh, correct, that's a gold star. Now, uh, that voice I just used, that's a, that's a tone for a, a positive manner. But if I was like, Jared, get off your phone! That's uh, probably, probably bad. Um, so, overall, it's based off tone. Alright, class, uh, let me uh, pick on someone random. Uh, Jared, uh, can you give us an example uh, from the book? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you read? Uh, yeah, yeah. On uh, page 77. Uh, it starts out, the three fell silent. The boy noted that there was a sense of fear in the air, even though no one said anything. Once again, he was experiencing the language without words, the universal language. Oh, can you tell me why this is important? Uh, well, in the book, like, unspoken language is just, like, a connection between people without, without words, and it's like using all these elements or only some of them. And it's important in the book because... The, the boy, Santiago, notices how he can, can communicate with, other, with others without words, and he like, thinks this is the universal language or like the soul of the world. Gold star, Jared. Okay. Now we'll start with uh, Omen's class, uh, which is anything that is perceived or happening that is believed to pretend a good or evil event, circumstance, in the future. So, uh, 
Tart. Uh, oh, did you jerk tart? Uh, could you give me an example from the book? A bad example, like a bad omen from the book, would probably be the two hawks that Santiago saw before. Uh, the, uh, what did that? What did that mean? Uh, like the the war was coming, and he also saw the vision of like the uh, the army heading towards the oasis. Perfect. Uh, what about a good example? Uh, could be anything from the wind that the alchemist like took as an omen for apprentice coming and stuff like that. All right, double good star for you. All right, class. We're in our uh, historical context of an omen. Uh, this can be seen back to old Babylonian, uh, second uh, millennium uh, BC, where uh, King Gudeu uh, would take require an auspicious sign from uh, the uh, patron god uh, Ningursu uh, to uh, build a new temple. All right. All right, class, now uh, let's modernize these omens. Uh, nowadays, if you drop your phone, uh, lands face up. That's a, that's a good thing that uh, you could be welcoming from a new friend. Or if it lands face down, uh, it's probably broken. Uh, now for the next one. Uh, if your face is getting tingly, it's probably going to be you're about to get tagged in an Instagram photo. If you find a spider in your bathtub, uh, before you buy your next lotto ticket, you got to touch an old man's leg. Hey, Mom! Is Grandpa home? Alright, for our next example class, um, if a barista uses whole milk uh, instead of skin milk to make your coffee, uh, your day is ruined. Now, if you uh, pass an accident on the way home from work, that's good luck. Today's winning lottery numbers, four, two, Zero. Patricia, will you go to homecoming with me? No! Alright, our third topic for today, class, is uh, signs. Uh, any object, action, event that conveys a meaning. So, uh, let's move to a book example and we call a student, uh, Jerry. Again. Yeah, yes again. Uh, pretty random. Uh, so, uh, could you give me two examples of uh, signs from the book? Uh, one example would be a cobra, which is a sign of strength and danger and also male potency. Also, another would be crystal glassware, which is a sign of clarity, fragility, and also like many of the characteristics represented by the crystal version. Very good, another gold star for you, Jared. All right, now, historically, uh, let's move into this. Uh, cow is symbolized uh, the sky goddess uh, to Egypt and enlightened the Buddhist to one of the highest and the holiest stages of uh, transmigration in Hindus. Wow, neat. Uh, now, for uh, butterflies, uh, it reminds Christians of amazing transformation that takes place through Christ's redemption and regeneration. Now, as we transfer to uh, modern connections, uh, but we will take a little back. Uh, the bat, um, in the old and eight medieval ages, uh, represented demons and spirits, but uh, now it's the symbol of good fortune. Uh, another modern example, uh, the all-seeing eye that we see on the $1 bill, uh, is a universal symbol representing spiritual sight, uh, inner vision, or higher knowledge. Uh, a final example uh, would be the astrological signs that we go, some people go by, like example Virgo and Libra and uh, Scorpio, etc. Alright, uh, now we move on to our final topic today, uh, dreams, or uh, an aspiration, a goal, etc. Alright, now uh, let's move on to an uh, example from the book, let me call someone random, uh, Jared! What? Are you... Done? 
don't you mess with my authority. Give us an example from the book. Why are you always calling me? Okay, uh, an example would be when the the gypsy woman gave uh, Santiago advice about his dream and interpreting his dream and then told him to go to the pyramids and give him part of the treasure. Now, uh, class, historically, we have uh, the Greeks and the Romans. Uh, they interpreted dreams as a in a religious context uh, where they believed uh, they were direct messages from the gods and they believed that dreams uh, forewarned and predicted the future. Now, in modern context, uh, the way uh, we interpret dreams are very simple. Uh, dreams actually don't mean anything. Um, we're just simply uh, electrons, impulses, uh, that are pulling up random images and thoughts while we sleep. Uh, simply our memories. Alright class, uh, school's about to get out, so uh, pack up your things. No, 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 not you, Jared. You have detention.